How's it going, everybody? Hope you're well. So today we're going to do something very interesting. In a previous video, uh, in one of the previous videos, <laughs> we created uh, this uh, bunch, well, this bunch of CIs that should simulate a demo and should simulate a discovery that we did. And those will have a bunch of CIs that are related to another, and they compose an application name, basically AOS Shop Main 15. Now. Uh, the difference between what we created in the previous video and now is that I added a service because uh, later I'm going to integrate it with Smax and Smax really likes those business services at the top. So we are going to build a view that contains all of that. And the video today is about how to build those views. And the problem is, uh, of course, uh, when you have all of those CI relationships, it just doesn't look very, very clean. You cannot use it in your front end for operators. So you need to clean it up a little bit, make it more logical. And also, I have two sets of applications that are the same. So I need to create two different views that would allow me to, uh, to, to see them separated between each other. So we'll go to Modeling Studios. And we'll create a new uh, pattern view. All right. We'll create a new query entirely. And the pattern view is able to see all of the uh, relationships between CIs. And uh, since our scenario includes adding new CIs as a remediation, the pattern view would be able to show those new CIs pretty nifty. Now, there is there are another way of doing it. There are other ways of doing that, but uh, this one, uh, I like it the most. To me, it's the most clean one. So I'll go configuration item, and I'll go to business element, and there should be service, right? So business service, I have three of those, and I will just drag and drop it. So we can see which services are already here. By clicking that button, we'll see there is like a US demo, and then there's some e-commerce, which I don't know where it come from, but I don't really mind. Then I'll trigger something that's named add related query node wizard. And this thing, oh, that thing is beautiful. First of all, we say do not show this page again. And, all, and then I show only the CI types which have relationships and instances. Uh, so what it means that I will use only CI types that have content. Unlike this, we see there's like a bunch of them that probably are empty. And they also don't have any relationship to the current CI type that I chose, right? So we know uh, that we created a service that relates to business application. So we'll choose the business application. And uh, we'll also say show relationship with instances. So now it will do the same filtering for relationships. And that's going to be containment. Fantastic. And I'll finish it. So now we have those two things. Let's calculate them. When you calculate, we actually see that uh, if there is no mistakes in what we did. So I recommend doing it all the time. Okay. And also, I'll uh, I'll save it, and I'll call it uh, AOS. Uh, no, no, you know AOS shop. Uh, demo master. Okay, that's going to be the name of it because later I'll just use save as to segregate between the two variations. Okay, so now let's scroll down further in our uh, in what we have, and we know that there are two relationships, uh, two things that we need to relate to, but uh, we will actually create a a view that uh, shows only the functionalities of the servers rather than the servers themselves as they relate to CIs because it might look a little bit unclean and uh, we don't we don't want that we, we we could do it this way but still I prefer to just use this uh, relationship uh, well this pattern as clean as possible now so we know there is this application that relates to Apache. And we know that Apache relates to uh, to uh, web, Apache uh, web servers. So those are going to be, where are they? Apache model, application resources, where are they? 
Okay, so that load balancer should have been connecting to two web servers. And unfortunately, I don't see it here. So we need to figure that one out. So I'll look at the CIs that I have here. And maybe, uh huh, this is the Apache web server. Uh, I'm going to get the related CIs for it. And let's see, maybe I selected the wrong one. Yes, it looks like I selected the wrong CI over here. So it's good that I checked. So we just uh, delete it. And our business application over here uh, should connect to web server. Yes, that's the one that we had. Okay, and it used to have containment as a dependency. So now when we calculate, we see there's just one web server that it relates to. So let's see which instances we get. So there we have it. E-commerce portal containment, e-commerce central, Apache web server, and that's the wrong one once more. So we did something wrong over here. We did something wrong. So instead of just going and trying to fix it here in the IT universe manager, I'll just look and see, well, okay. So uh, first of all, I need to see those. So I'll get, show the related CIs. And then the related CI is web server of this kind. Okay, fantastic. So that means that I need, still need to add the related CI and it had uh, what uh, was the uh, usage oh it was just usage okay so i was choosing a wrong relationship type so it's going to be web server and it's going to be usage instead of containment so when we click finish we calculate we see three web servers three applications for now so we're still not in the clear yet. Still, this e-commerce thing that we saw earlier still present. So now we will try and find the uh, two Apache web servers related uh, to this one and the Apache Tomcats. Okay, and the Apache Tomcat bet uh, between this uh, LB was consumer provider. So we'll do. Well, we'll go one step further. And let's see what we got. So far, we have four Apache Tomcats. So still not very clear about what, uh, how to filter this one out, right? We still didn't filter itself out. So we'll go PostgreSQL. And we have dependency on PostgreSQL. We'll finish. And now the amount, you see it, it, was, it was saying four. Now it should say just two. OK, so when we look at the instances, Let's see what we got. It has PostgreSQL and PostgreSQL 45. All right, fantastic. So this PostgreSQL should connect to another PostgreSQL. If you remember, there was another tier of that. And it was, uh, I think, consumer provider, but on the other side, right? Yeah, reversed. Let's see what we got. And uh, now it's uh, it's clear, it's more clear. So we have a business application, only one, that connects to web server, that connects to Apache Tomcat, two of them, and then it goes to the uh, Postgres. And uh, actually, I'll add another thing because probably I made a mistake and I have the wrong relationship between those two, and I cannot really do it right now. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. So we have the Posix SQL. We have the AOS main shop that uses the load balancer, that uses two Apache Tomcats, that use this Postgres SQL, and then it uses this Postgres SQL. So this is for a 15. Everything is 15. Okay. Uh, fantastic. So what is missing from all of that? Those are all the business servicers, but I also need the nodes. I need the nodes that uh, 
are related to it, to all of the, to this whole view. So I'll go and I take me a uh, infrastructure element of the type computer. Okay, and uh, just drag and drop it over here. Okay, so now it has a lot of things in it. So we'll have to query the node. And we're going to add a condition that says, well, you know what, uh, DNS name, and no, it's going to be primary DNS name, uh, contains, or like, and we say AOS like uh, underscore 15. Okay, and now it shows all of those nice servers that fall into this category when we use this kind of query. Okay, so let's see what we got. If we will see the preview, it will have all of those nice things while having the uh, the uh, the node somewhere on the side. Although I need to calculate, let's see, maybe I made a mistake. Okay, I made a mistake. Show element instances, and there is nothing here. So I made a mistake in my query. Uh, and probably I needed to include more, another wildcard that would specify the domain name because I did not accommodate for all of those example.coms, right? So now it might look a little bit better. There we have, we have the five when we make a preview. And uh, remember this is Java when we do it in HTML5, it's gonna be much nicer. Okay, so all of this is here under the main view and we have all of those machines uh, related to AOS shop main. Actually, let's see if we can query it a little bit better. No, we can have only one computer through all of those steps, so we don't, we don't need it. So now we need to create a hierarchy that would actually show it a little bit better. So we'll go and we'll do like this. So business services at the top. So underneath is business application. The business application uh, will have a web server. And then, oh, okay. So what, what's missing? A business application that relates to those two Tomcats, a security one. So we'll go and relate it to business application. We'll choose a reverse containment. We will say next. And we'll say finish. And let's see how many of those will be displayed here. Only one. Okay. So we have a business application. We have a web server at the same level because it's one level below. So we will have a business application. Okay. And under the web server, we'll have the Apache Tomcat. And Apache Tomcat would have a PostgreSQL, the first one that we did. As you see, I'm not using names because I'm really familiar with everything, but I could really use the names. Okay, and I'll put my computer under the business service and it cannot calculate the hierarchy under the business service, which is uh, not, not really nice. So maybe I can relate the business service that I have over here to all of those machines. And then it would be a little bit uh, clearer. So we'll go with the add, um, uh, you know what? We'll show all of the instances. So all of this is instead of going to an IT universe manager and fixing stuff, right? Uh, okay, it cannot calculate right now. The calculation is uh, broken. Now we can. And now when I'll go and find my business service over here, I can actually go and say relate to CIs, and it's going to be AOS uh, 15. I, I, I hope it works, this kind of filtering. Let's give it a second over here. Yes, so all of those servers, we will relate them to this business service uh, as a uh, oh, containment. Just containment, All right? Fantastic. So now, when we will drag and drop the computer under the business service, 
it cannot relate properly, but we don't need it anymore because now I can delete the CI and I can just add a related node CI to the, to the view. And the reason I don't want the nodes to be on the same level with, with everything else is because I'm going to simulate events and that's a little bit of cheating, uh, but it's for showing how the uh, product works. And unfortunately, I don't have a proper environment that can be used for this kind of modeling. So instead, I'm just uh, doing it this way. Okay, so let's uh, save. And then we will save as, and it's going to be AOS Shop Demo 15. Okay, so that's going to be our demo number 15. And connection to the server has been lost. I'm not sure that, uh, can we really continue working? Oh, that was lucky. I, I, hope, I hope it saved uh, the work. I really do. So let's close this one. Let's open it once more. Oh, come on, a little bit faster, Java, Java, come on. Okay, now probably I need to restart the whole client. So let's do it a little bit differently. We'll go to Mark, my workspace. And we have top and events view, it's a default one that I created. I like it for testing. But also, it will give me a list of views. And in case I manage to save, then the AOS shop uh, 15, yeah, will be here. So let's see. So this is what we built. And we can expand it over here with a plus and relationship that it for some reason shows to the same CI. Uh, so probably some filtering is required. Yes, because it goes to a, is it a different PostgreSQL? It should merge to a single one, but then again, it goes to separate ones. So I will need to fix the relationships between those Tomcats and PostgreSQLs. And then my uh, topology will look a little bit nicer. All right, fantastic. So uh, that's about it. And I see that my security here doesn't connect to the Apache Tomcats for some reason. So I need to fix that as well. Okay, now we know it. So this is more or less how you build a view. Of course, there is a little bit of a debug involved and there are more steps that we need to do in order to polish it. And then uh, once it's ready, I just need to change something small and I'll have a second view that caters for the second scenario uh, with just changing a couple of flags. So that definitely works for me. So I hope you liked it. I hope it kind of shows you how to create a demo scenario that uh, that works. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.